Why are you here? And who are you? That brand. You are from the other country, aren't you not? You... You and your country are considered our enemy here. Don't you know that? No. Keep your distance from me. Do not approach me. I do not wish to be seen, touched, or spoken to by the likes of you. Your kind is hostile. Your kind are ruthless. Ruthless killers. I cannot associate myself with scum like you. If I were you, I would leave. I am being lenient here. I do not want you here. Especially here. Huh? You're wounded. Let me ask you this. How were you injured? This could all be a trick to gain my trust and then slaughter me in my sleep. No, I am no fool. No fool at all. Goodness, you seem very weak. Fine. I will help you, but after I patch up your wounds, you must leave. If anyone sees us together, we will both suffer. I am not ruthless like the others. If someone is injured, if anyone is injured, they deserve care and attention. Now, do you have any weapons on you? I want you to drop them to the floor and put them to the side, far from your reach. <laughs> you have no right to question me. I am ensuring my safety and yours. Because if you do not get treated, I do not know what will happen to you. But I know it will not be good. So please, do as I say. Thank you. I'm gonna come closer to you now. Just relax. I'm not here to hurt you. I don't want to. You're hurt enough. Now, hold still. I will patch up your wounds and provide medicine. Such gruesome injuries. There. How does that feel? Better? Huh. That is good. I am glad you're feeling better. Huh. Hmm? Why am I doing this? I thought I explained myself earlier. I am doing this because everyone deserves care when they need it. It does not matter who you are, what side you're on, if you are hurt or injured, you deserve to be taken care of. Oh, you look very pale. I do not think traveling for you is a good idea. What are we supposed to do? Our countries are at war. If anyone in my family sees or hears what I've done, I'll be tried and hanged for treachery. And you will suffer in your own country, accepting the aid from those you are supposed to hurt. Sit down for a moment. You deserve some rest. Hmm. Why do I trust you? Well, for one, you are way too weak to swing a sword at me. Secondly, would you really hurt the one who just saved your life? 
Just because our countries are at war, doesn't mean we have to be. This war, it has taken countless lives. And it nearly claimed yours. I'm just... enlightened that I could prevent that. To see someone die, and knowing that I could have done something, it will haunt me to my deathbed. I can't allow that. My mother always told me that I must be compassionate to those who aren't. Show them the kindness and the gentleness they've never seen before. Maybe that will help them understand and see the light. But if my mother saw me right now, I do not know how she would react. Would she be proud? Would she be angry? Who knows? I never imagined that I would treat an enemy soldier. I feel like I failed my own country. What have I done? These hands... Treachery... And blood. Huh? I must say, even though your country is a ruthless one, your soul is kind and humane. I see it in your eyes. I do. Huh? You are grateful for me? There is no need for that. I was only doing what was right. I cannot let you die because of this war. This war has claimed enough. Even one of my brothers. He has lost himself in the war. He was a tender soul. Those who cared about the safety of others. He went off to war with such scared eyes, saying he did not want to go. But he was forced to, since the pride of this country cannot be ruined. Therefore, we must lose those we care about. My brother returned home a few weeks later. He is not himself. He screams in his sleep. He calls out names of those who lost their lives on the battlefield. He cries every night. The house goes still when he does. All we hear is the echo of his suffering ringing through our ears. We lost him. We lost him in war. He is still with us physically, but we lost him. You know exactly what I'm talking about, don't you? You've seen it, haven't you? What this war has done to everyone around us. Tore families apart, our hearts broken, and endless tears flowing. Is this worth all of this? Is the suffering of your country worth? The pride of winning a battle? Do you believe it is worth it? Answer me that. Please. <sighs> this war has done more than tear apart my brother. It has forced my family into the darkest reaches of this world. I cannot say, for I was instructed to tell nobody. 
You see, our family is a good family, and we must uphold that image. We have to. We have no choice. In order to survive, we must smile and pretend. It is so difficult to force myself to continue smiling despite what is going on. No, I cannot tell you. What do you not understand? There is so much I wish to say, but I cannot. I cannot say anything. Huh? You sympathize with me? How can you? No one in my life has ever said that to me. Nobody. I... I do not understand. I was being so hostile to you earlier. Yet you hold my hands with such warmth. It is almost comforting. All of this is confusing me. I do not know what to say, nor what to think. But I can say this. I feel as if us meeting together was meant to be. Maybe we are the start of something new. Something more peaceful. Than these wars. If we are able to talk to one another without someone getting slaughtered, that says something. Don't you think so? We don't need to settle our arguments with torn up bodies and distraught families. We do not need it. We can change things. No, you can change things. Please, let your people know, let your country know, the effects of war. It is not glorious, it is not heroic, it is tearing us apart. I had a change in heart. I will let you know what is going on. Do not mention my name when you speak of my issue. The shame I would bring to my family would be unbearable. So please, forget my name, but remember my story. My own family, they are selling me off to these men. We have run low on money. And my family said, we have nothing because of this war. They have taken everything from us. Then they looked at me and said, thank the heavens. You were born with a pretty face. I was so confused until I saw the men I came into our house and looked at me with such dirty eyes. I knew. I knew exactly what they were doing. They were selling their own daughter away. I'm leaving tomorrow. I'm being traded off tomorrow. I don't want to. Yet I cannot run away from my family. They need, they need this money. They, they need it. I tell
tell myself that every night. So I do not regret anything. But every night, the day gets closer. I get more scared. You want me to run away with you? No. I can't. I'm sorry. I can't. I cannot disappoint my family. The men that are buying me told them that if I was not willing to go, they would release to the public what we were going to do. And I cannot bring that shame to my family. I must be selfless for my mother, my father, and my brother, who is suffering. So I cannot. I'm sorry. Huh? You care about me. I care about you too. I do. I want you to live and tell my story. Tell my story and make a change. End this madness. Please, do it for me. We do not have much time. The sun is due to rise soon. You must go. You can leave through the window. No, do not look at me that way. I am not the only one who is forced into this. Many other women here are being sold off. Until something changes, this is our norm. So I beg of you, go and do not turn back and change this world, change its mindset, and bring peace to both our countries. You don't understand how much I want to go with you. We met only a brief while ago, but I can tell that you are a kind soul, and I am grateful that I got to meet someone as kind as you before I'm sent off. Remember what I said. Forget my identity, but share my story. I know you're destined for great things. I can see it. I cherish you. I cherish our time together, even though it was so brief. You give me hope in such bleak times. Thank you. And may God bless you. Return home safely. Please. For me.